So let's raise the big questions. How does one give India's women, not just wrestlers, but others in other professions, the courage to speak out? How does one hold VIPs accused of sexual harassment accountable? Is the system geared for cover-ups? These are some of the questions we'll raise tonight. Kiran Bedi, former IPS officer with us. Jagmati Sangwan, National Vice President, AIDWA, All India Democratic Women's Association, left organization and former Indian volleyball player. Rinda Grover is advocate at the Supreme Court and Trisha Shetty is founder, she says. Let's come to each of you to understand, as women, what do you believe should be done? Kiran Bedi, you first. In a case like this, should the women wrestlers specifically first file an FIR before they go on dharna? What should they be doing to ensure they get justice? Because the charges they are making are very serious. I think they're going through a very immediate process. They've written, now made a complaint to the Indian Olympic Association, giving them a chance to do justice short of the FIR. Mm -hmm. And if they feel that they haven't been heard enough, then I think FIR is an ultimate uh, resort. But they're going through a process and they expect the IOA now to expeditiously give them a, a, some finding, some assessment. Would you advise them to go and file an FIR as well, a first information report, given the, uh, given the, the, uh, the fact that if these findings are indeed true, they constitute a criminal offense. I think they need, they, they're doing, I think they're being, uh, they're giving the IOA a chance. And IOA is an, is an important body and rather than jumping the gun. But if they don't feel satisfied with the IOA, the option of an FIR is already or, always open. Rinda Grover, should they be going to court now, filing an FIR, taking the criminal route, given the fact that otherwise they will find themselves caught in what seems to be a political tug of war? Uh, Rajdeep, I think what we need to understand here is that the reason why this, these incidents, it's not a one-off incident, the uh, sexual harassment incidents as well as the hostile environment, which they said was happening at the camp uh, which was being held in Lucknow. The reason why this is happening is because sexual harassment, as we know, is an exercise of power here specifically by people who are going to determine their careers. So FIR is neither a validation of truth nor does it necessarily change the inequity of power that is happening here. The reason why Vishakha and the Porsche Act of 2013 gives an option of an in-house committee and places a lot of statutory responsibility on the head of the organization. Here, the uh, direct allegations are being made at the head of the organization. There is no burden on them. As Ms. Bedi said, they have a right. Would the FIR and would the police suddenly act in a way as though there is no power operating here? The responsibility squarely falls on the state, on the government and particularly the wrestling federation. Mm -hmm. For starters, there can be no equity. There can be no principle of equity unless this gentleman is asked to step down. And of course, I say gentlemen only sarcastically. You're saying principle of equity. You're looking at the power equation. Jagmati Sangwan as a national vice president of AIDWA, but a former Indian volleyball player, do you see an asymmetry of power? A powerful man who has been the president for 11 years of his federation versus Olympic athletes who brought glory to the nation, but perhaps cannot combat or face a powerful man. Is there an asymmetry of power here, which is part of the problem in cases like this? Yes, absolutely. Uh, always we are finding that uh, uh, when the, uh, these girls uh, uh, are coming out uh, while uh, showing every type of uh, bravery, when they are coming to speak out against the sexual assault and other uh, atrocities, then the whole system stands with the accused. Here in Haryana, uh, uh, a girl athlete and junior coach, she, she has already lost an FIR with the Chandigarh police. But still, the minister is sitting in the cabinet and he is also the uh, uh, president of Haryana Olympic Association. You are referring, referring to the sports minister of Haryana who continues yes, to remain Sandeep in Singh. office despite these allegations. Uh, and uh, despite uh, uh, lodging the FIR by the uh, uh, assaulted girl, mm -hmm. she has already uh, and uh, the... Uh, uh, sections against him are non bailable also. Still, he continues with the cabinet. He is also heading the Haryana Olympic Association. Uh, when the whole uh, 
ह्यूमन राइट्स प्रोटेक्शन एजेंसी दे ऑल्सो स्टैंड विद द असोल्टर एंड द स्टेट मशीनरी दे ऑल्सो स्टैंड विद द असोल्टर देन दीज गर्ल्स दे फाइंड देम सेल्स सराउंडेड बाई अ वेरी होस्टाइल एटमोस्फियर वी हैव सीन इन रूतिका गिरोत्रा केस uh uh we fought for 19 years the anand family and we and the 16 years old girl who came out to uh, speak ag against the president of uh, the then uh, tennis association right. uh, mr rathor uh, after 19 years of a uh, very costly fire because the girl was forced to commit suicide uh, her father so lost his life So, the, uh, and, so uh, you're saying it's a long struggle. You're giving the example of Ruchika Girotra. Remember, this is a case which had captured the public imagination at the time, and in that case too, the girl, the girl's family struggled to get justice. 